me. I'm just saying. You pull up to the scene, they be filled with jealousy. If a bitch get stop. <laughs> Finicky, she gon' bring the energy. I hit a phone with a C. Three, two, one, action. Do you have a light? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got chills, the multiply. Video and I'm back for another video and I hope you guys are having a good time. Welcome to my channel. How are you guys doing? What's going on, honey? The stock market has been crazy. We know that, but we are here for Uncle Roger. So let's see. This is called Uncle Roger finally found a decent fool. Okay. First of all, I just want to say to everyone on TikTok, I love you all so much. Thank you guys so much for all the support, okay? So let's get into it. See, I'm a lover, not a fighter, but I crack it <laughs> Okay, let's go. So let's see, Uncle Roger. Let's see this. Today, Uncle Roger review American chef Jet Peeler making fun. I okay. like this guy. Uncle Roger didn't know the boy from up grow up now and become celebrity chef Ooh. for you. Let's hope he makes fur properly. Let's see. Okay. Check out some collection, Uncle Roger. Like, hey guys, I'm Jet Teela, and this is Ready Jet Cook. Mm -hmm. Now, I know some of you are rolling your eyes at the idea of quicker pho. Mm -hmm. But let's do some quick time calculations here. Two days for traditional pho versus two hours. What? 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 Two okay, days for pay food. homage to an hour only. Okay. How do you use two days to make fur? You're making fur halfway and then going on road. I'm not day. doing this with you today. Uh, no. Two days for traditional fur versus two hours. Fur broth need time to extract the flavor from the ingredient. Okay. Two hours fur? <sighs> Uncle Roger, I'm skeptical. not doing I it today. I'm not feeling about today. this video already. Not today. Please. So for the quicker beef pho, I'm using a thin slice That looks like the south. Ah, uh, thin slice the mi steak, mid that's midwest. alright. Already better than Nice Rachel pho. Have you seen that video? If you haven't, go watch it. It's terrible. She used beef that thicker than Lizzo. <laughs> Rachel, girl! You fucked us over. These are the rice noodles for pho. Correct, sure to Correct noodles. In case you mess up your first batch. Oh, okay. Also, when I was a kid, stocking these shelves, they were my favorite things to stock. Not like those 50 pound rice bags. Wait. You, you Asian kid, but you don't like to stock rice back high. He's high like, now. we are too, we are too are rich for that, Asian honey. Asian people, you <laughs> buy rice to buy the biggest stuff, 10 kilo, Thank 20 you. kilo. The woman I'm trying to become would draw no satisfaction from this at all. Fortunately, I'm not that woman just yet. But this nephew jet right here. Oh, he he bougie girl. Like he bougie. Just tiny packet. <laughs> he bougie, yeah. honey. Uncle Roger want to say to white people, who you buy the small packet rice for? Honey, for that's baby what they give us. Baby bird on diet. No, because they want us to buy more and spend more money. Fish sauce, it fish sauce correct? Yes. We're not used to using it, but it's ingredient good so far. It's Vietnamese and Thai cuisine. My housemate has it, but he's in California right now. Until June next what? year. Woo! No. I, uh, why suddenly like music video? It's not like you can help it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna start with vegetables <laughs> and then move on to making my stock. So I'm gonna need onions, kind of onion, correct? Cut I'm gonna take like, the, pot, uh -uh. the bottom, oh. and then I like to peel the onion while it's in half. No, no, don't slice onion in half. Mm. It's gonna make the broth dirtier. Just oh, throw oh. more onion in broth. I oh. developed this pho dish because Small everybody mistake. likes to eat pho, yes. but no one wants to make the two-day broth. This is a really nice kind of hybrid version where you get the aromatics from all your spices, but you're not going to sit there and roast bones and literally wait two days. This Okay, he taking shortcut, but at least he know the basic offer. Maybe Which is this good. Is okay. We yeah, want that, kids please. Are kind of in from school, they're sick. The weather's really cold. There's nothing more comforting or warming than having a nice bowl of noodles and pho broth. Oh, Wait, what? what, what, what so what, he what should be in the say? east. You know, when the kids are kind of in from like school, I they're am? sick. There's nothing more comforting than having a nice bowl of noodles and pho broth. Okay, pho broth is chicken noodle correct. soup. But nephew, Jack, I hope when your kids sick, you yeah. don't just feed them pho. Bring them to doctor. I would. I hate to be this guy, kid. Daddy, I got oh, food. Oh, oh. Shut the fuck up. 
Just eat your food. It's crazy because, you know, people from Latin, Hispanic, Mexican descent, you know, they're like, um, is it Vix? Then people from African black descent, they're like, um, rub, you know, herbs, honey, all of it, you know, they go with leaves, cook the leaves, boil all that. Then, <laughs> tell me how chicken noodle soup from the people of Asian descent and stuff like that. It's so cool that everyone has this kind of, you know, that's, how do I call it? It's the old technique, they still hold on to that. I, I like that, you know, like the classic if I'll call it that, well, something of that nature. It's like, uh-uh, chicken noodle soup, girl. <laughs> These onions. I'm just making to cry. I'm starting to think about my kids when they're sick. No, no. Hey. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Why you can put on glasses, right? To, make you to avoid that. Is it? This is so sad. As you can see with the ginger, Jump I've down. just left the skin. Okay, he sliced faster extraction to get a lot of surface area for the stock. With the scallions, I'm just Spring slicing onion, them into thin slices. Yeah, these are red serranos. They're kind of the all. perfect chili. Chili good. A ton of these. And the last ingredient is going to be lime. Uncle Roger likes his chopping technique. Very smooth, very good. I'm just cutting the wedges off the side. And this way he can cut off his fingers. Lime correct also. Little seed pot alone. The first spice is star anise. Looks like a little star. Star anise good. Christmas, if you think about it. All what? Christmas? Spices. Smells like Christmas, if you think about it. Star anise reminds me of Christmas. Nephew Jack must be mm. from Christmas. Really nice family because Uncle Roger I, up. I said it right. Remind me of I said it. Maybe a packet of rice. Yeah. I said so it. Star anise is there. Clove, right? Clove, correct. Those look like little kind of reedy sticks with the little a little spice ball. Cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I know you've got cinnamon. Good. Laying around from the holidays. In a little plate, I've got. That kitchen tells you that he's wild. Let's look at that kitchen. I'm going to lay all the spices in. And they're really. Oh, ah, that's Sacho. He know his shit. That good technique. But he's just missing fennel. Guys, when you look at that kitchen, it tells you when so if someone has it like look at that kitchen. What really girl? You guys saw my studio, right? Honey, I went broke having that studio for a reason, honey. Woo! Mm-mm. He they yeah, he's oh, from a well different. Maybe that's okay. He making Not six figures, that's okay, seven don't figures. Think harder that's to get where he's from. Uncle Roger can forgive that because his technique all correct so far. I'm just wrapping it up into a nice clean little packet. Tie this off and be able to pull it in and out of the stock. So let's build the pho broth. First thing we're going to start with is beef. Now. I know. Some of you are going to give me a hard time. Some of you are going to give me a hard time. But I need you to trust me. Trust me on this. Ooh. Okay. At least he anticipate Uncle Roger's yep, reaction. Did. Don't just use beef paste like that. No, just no, try no, to no, make broth no, properly. No. Hiya. Trust me on this. But okay, Uncle Roger trusts you. Nephew Jack, a Let's very see. trustworthy face. Look how innocent he look. Look at I his was cheeks. Thinking it. So cute. Uncle Roger, I, I, want to I was thinking it. Yeah. yeah. So cute. I didn't want to say it out <laughs> earlier. Yeah. I'm glad he said it. I wanted to I'll say it earlier, but I was like, hold it in. Beef paste is exactly as its name implies. Especially it when it was a crying. Nice beef flavored foundation. A really quick note on fish sauce. Now, you know the bottle that's been sitting in your fridge for about a year? It's time to get rid of it because it's probably gone opaque. All right. Totally dark like soy sauce. Really fresh fish sauce should be amber and... T he has that face that when he's... You just, want him, you just want to watch him eating and you just admire him eating. Yeah, he has that face from the animations oh no not meatball what's the other one that cute one oh well. totally translucent wait wait what no no that too much fish sauce look at how much he pouring really fresh it's better fish than sauce. jamie oliver girl so i'll much take fish it sauce. that's the first big mistake he made it's so much fish sauce for what also i thought you just measure out fish sauce in the little bowl that's the correct amount i'm cool as you always deliver i'm from sorry the bottle. Hiya. you're just drinking <sighs> fish sauce now the pot's so small you're brought 50 percent fish sauce what, what are you doing? Honey, what are you it's gonna doing? be fishy, honey. This, a little more salt, because fish sauce is uh, definitely on that seafood side. Salt, mm. correct? Straight salt to give a clean saltiness to kind of boost up that beef flavor. Oh. You want to balance those flavors with a little bit of sugar? Su what? No, I uh, honey. Sugar, correct. But that too much sugar. Uh <laughs> okay, as an American, I know what it means. Guys, I'm guilty of this. I'm not kidding you. Honey, I've grown up, you know, as a child to put 
you know, sugar in my um, soups and stuff. Then I unlearned that for my mom and her family. Then let it back to put honey in your food uh, with salt and mix. I, I, believe me, I'm guilty of this. It was never like this in between. Like, as a baby, yes. Then in between, no. Then it came back, so I'm like, huh? So I'm guilty of putting sugars and honey in my solid food and soups and rice. It's I, I, for some reason it tastes better to me. I I don't know how to say, it, but I'm guilty. I think it's an American yeah, it's so thing. Small, I don't know. So Maybe sugar, it's just so how sauce. you eat. You're sugar. gonna smell like the ocean and taste like that. And the aromatics are ginger. When something is salty, I throw sugar in wait, it wait, or wait, honey. Wait, wait, to char it first, hi ya. I'm Don't guilty. I'm onion, sorry, guys. Like that. Charring onion, bring out more flavor. Period. You even have gas stove, just put the onion on the fire for two minutes. What and happened? This onion, to me? Whole one, you need onion of color. For fur broth, <laughs> onion is like Auntie Helen clothing. You need to burn it. I'm gonna let this broth come to a simmer for about 40 minutes and let the onions and garlic make 40 minutes the broth. Mm. Last step to finish this broth. I guess it's okay, it's shortcut. Spices from this spice good, spice go in good. To not oversteep these. You're gonna wanna simmer the spices for about 30 to 45 minutes until okay. you just taste all these kind of amazing. Uncle Roger still can't believe how young he looked. Nephew, just look how like old is boy with receding hairline. How is that possible? <laughs> I just want to taste how old is this it? before I pull the sachet out. Mm. I distinctly taste all the spices, but they're not overpowering. So it's time for the sachet. I'm trying to away. figure out what part Let me show you how to build this bowl. We're starting with some rice stick noodles. Huh? Noodle it's very soft and soft. You can also correct rice stick noodles here. I'm going to bundle them really into cool. the basket and just give them a really quick dip to cook. Colander for noodle, okay. Just don't use it for rice. For just a few seconds in the hot water. Correct. I love well, this acid then, because it's very calm. Huh? See, see how what? bouncy it looks? That good texture. So noodles are in this mm. adventure part. My favorite faux combo is fully loaded, meaning every single garnish plus a ton of sriracha. Good, and good, of correct, sauce. correct. And if you're gonna do sweet. the rare thin beef, make sure to put it on top because it looks really cool there. Right, this is so thin that when that hot broth hits it, it's gonna cook it right. Mm. Right, make sure that your broth is ripping hot Ooh. because you want it to cook the meat and then really oh. marry all those flavors together. Oh. My favorite dishes. Oh. Right I love Just something that's nice put more this is that looks interesting so to me. Oh, oh, he be getting food gazing? Honey! Uncle Roger is so aroused right now. Ooh. Sorry, Sorry children. Clearing oh. that history. Feel free to do a little more garnish on the top. The oh, no, 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 to go. So hoisin like and Honey. sriracha. It's a total choice situation. Some people like to shoot okay. it. In and mix it in. No, don't mix it in. Hi, I know something like cross what's poured and cooked. Don't just okay. whack sauce in there. You're gonna kill the broth. Show the broth some respect. Ooh. Some people like to shoot it in and mix it into the soup. Okay. Or some people like to dip. I'm more of a dipper than uh, putting the hoist. Buy the okay, dip okay. in the stock market. That's a dip house. Every time Uncle go to Vietnamese restaurant and I'm I see people just squirting the sauce into broth. Squirting? It's great that the only only time Uncle Roger don't like seeing oh, food. squatted over there! I want to pull the noodles and build a little mess of noodles into the I'm noodles done. with a spoon. Add your Not food. Not today. Even the technique, good. Sure, I've got a little onion, good. cilantro, all those really fun goodies in there. Then I take the beef and I do a little dipper. Mm. Make sure it's touching both sauces. It Poison and sriracha. He got the yeah, sauce. Yeah, he's from a wealthy family. Who else thinks to put? Into the spoon, oh, gather so some soup. Big, 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 I just chum chum chum. That actually look very good. Mm. There's really nothing more kind of complex yet comforting than a great complex and comforting. I back and know you bitch fuck. That should be Uncle Roger Tinder by. Oh, so complex and comforting. Back. Okay. No, but cannot give me Uncle Tyler because it's so many shortcuts. Broth not made properly. Maybe no. next time spend more time on broth and Uncle Roger can call you Uncle complex Jack. Complex and comforting. Here we go. Yes! Another Uncle Roger video. I've, I've missed making these, man. It feels like it's been a while. But nephew Jack, I hope when your Sometimes kids sick, you bring break. them to doctor. Don't just feed them fur and let them die. Why he gonna feed them, girl? Look at how innocent he looks. Uncle Roger just want to pinch those cheeks. So cute. So cute. Yeah, yeah, 
really is. <laughs> look at that his receding hairline. Actually, make him look younger. Fui yo, Uncle Roger never seen this before. My hairline receding. I look old as shit. <laughs> I'm not doing this. Fuck you, girl. Anti Helen clothing. You need to burn it. And then Auntie Helen said, Auntie Helen, text on the screen, parentheses, ex wife. Oh, oh. You know? And then make that sound effect. What do you call it? Mouth pop. Okay, now. What do you all think? I wasn't ready to. Guys, I told you guys not today, but I. Whew, okay, now. Bye, guys. La, 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 la. What you leaving for when my night is your. Ooh. I. Yeah.